Hey guys, and welcome to another daily video in the Juicy Bit series. Today I'm on location. I'm taking a little time off with my family. We're staying uh, at Hutchinson Island for the holiday break for Christmas. So I hope everybody's having a great holiday season and uh, you're enjoying a white Christmas just like I am. I guess if you consider the sand or the sea foam white. So in today's video, we're continuing our daily video series on the history of the internet and how people have used it for marketing. So today I wanna to talk about the history of email, which can be the absolute you know, worst thing about working in today's digital environment is the onslaught of email and the amount of email that's actually spam and being used for marketing. So we can trace this all back to a gentleman named Ray Tomlinson, who sent the first email to himself in 1971. Now, email must have been a great thing for the first seven years because the first spam message wasn't sent until seven years later in 1978. In 1978, someone on the ARPANET network sent an email to about 400 people touting a new computer model from the now defunct Digital Equipment Corporation, which used to be a big computer maker, which was later bought by, I believe, Compact. So since then, email has exploded. It's estimated that today, in 2015, over 205 billion emails are sent every single day. Now, it's amazing. So no matter how much we get excited about social media and all the new technologies that are there today, email is still a very powerful way to market and to reach your customer base. And there's a big difference between spam, which is just blindly sending emails to as many people as possible, and really true opt-in, one-on-one -on -one communication with your audience. So that's the history of email. We're still using it today. It's still going strong since 1971, and I don't see an end in sight anytime soon. So I wish everyone a Merry Christmas Eve. I hope you're having a great time with your family wherever you are, and I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow.